It's a beautiful morning. Time for the second day, guys. I uh, still don't know too much about like payouts and all that. I uh, have to check it out in the venue. I'm sitting on 45k at Big Blind 2000, so 25 Big Blinds, not quite. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get some through by chance through and stack up. Shit. Um, yeah, I'm just getting some breakfast at Subway. Because the event is starting in 50 minutes. And wanna be there. <laughs> Would suck to like skip a couple of big nines um, with my stack. But no, it's one double up and then we have average and then we're ready to go. Um, so yeah, I'm not worried or anything. We just need like the run good and it's important guys, it's an 880 pound tournament. I'm in for two bullets. Let's get it. Let's fucking get it. Team, it's break time. Uh, I still have like 20 big blinds, not much happening. Uh, you know, I was up to like 60k at one point, now I have 50k again. Just not much going on, you know, I have to wait for get, to get a good hand, get a 3 bet jam on, get called and then get the double and then we have like 35 big blinds or 40 and then I'm good to go. But till then I just have to wait. That's it for the event, guys. I jammed in the small band with pocket nines. And the big blind talks a little bit and says, yeah, you jam every hand. And then he turns over tens and I'm like, come on. I thought he had like, I don't know, like seven, like, I don't know, like fours or like a seven or something like that. But yeah, he just had tens and I puked and we didn't get there. So we out of the event, ate enough the money, um, made a good run, never really had a stack. So it was like a lot of push forward for me. Um, also had some, had like a tough first table. Um, yeah, that's it for the event, guys. Um, a little bit sad here the way we busted like both both bullets to a three out and a nice first tens, but we didn't even have a suck out yet. We only got sucked out on or yeah. What can you do? I'm not complaining here. I'm not complaining. We made some holes. Uh, just shit happens, you know. Um, so yeah, to I will probably do some sightseeing now or so. Um, then tonight is like an 88 party and tomorrow I might fire like a bullet in like a 120 pound turbo deep. Uh, one day event obviously and then I take the plane home Monday morning. That's the strategy for now and yeah. Yo guys, we're playing some bowling now. And whoever loses has to pay the bill. I'm in the team with Dominic. So we hope we crush. Otherwise we fuck. But we, have, we also have Mini Neymar. And we have Mini Neymar. Mini Neymar in the house. I mean, you can't go wrong with Mini Neymar. With all the 88 benches. Alright guys, we managed to get second in the match, in the bowling match. So me and Dominic, uh, sorry. So me and Dominic didn't have to pay. Um, most awesome actually. So we played bowling with um, Natalie Hof, Sophia Lofgren. Um, I actually don't know what her last name is, but like one. Um, she's also a really, really cool girl. Um, as a Dominic Nietzsche and his girlfriend. Um, yeah, it was awesome, I had a good time. Just talked a little bit about everything and played some bowling. Um, now I'm heading back to the hotel. I busted two bullets in the main event. Not playing tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday, or like, it's already, already Sunday, but you know, I, I count it as like after I sleep. So, it's Sunday right now, but after I sleep, it's still Sunday. Okay, that was awkward. Um, so, yeah, gonna have, I like, had some awesome e dinner as well. Got some like spare ribs and everything. Um, now it's time to go to the hotel, get some sleep. But it was a really cool evening, you know. Pretty sick to hang out with all of these cool guys, which are like really nice people as well. And sorry for holding the camera on the low level, but I'm 
really tired. It was a long, long day. Your team, it is 1 or well, like 2 a.m. Um, I'm actually walking back to the casino. I was in the hotel room for a while. Played actually a little bit of cash game online. Uh, won 200 bucks. Uh, <laughs> so, I know. We get a little bit close to the profitable trip here to London. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. There wasn't much going on on the venue anymore. Um, like the 88 ambassadors, like Dominic Nietzsche left um, already. So he was at home yesterday. Like he's at home already. And the other ones were just like grinding at, um, in their hotel room. So I know I was just chilling, watched some football, like soccer, and played some cash actually. Just like a short session, you know, like 600 hands, played four tables and won some nice money. Um, but yeah, I think a couple of guys are still chilling in the casino. I was like, I don't know, my, fl my flight plane home goes in like four hours or five hours. So I might as well like, like I would probably not sleep and just like, um, I don't know how you call that. But I will not go to bed. I'd rather just um, yeah maybe have like a beer or so and then catch my flight sleep a little bit at home and then try to get back on the schedule ASAP let's see how the evening goes guys I have no idea <laughs> maybe there's nobody there and I just go home again but we'll see all right guys I had a pint at the bar I'm now heading home um, it is 3 20 a.m. in the morning um, I have to catch a train at 5 a.m. Then we are at the airport at 6 a.m. and then my plane is leaving at 7 a.m. So right now I have like an hour where I try not to fall asleep in my bed and fuck it up again. Like I had such a great time, I met so many cool people and I will definitely like be going to more live events. Maybe we can work like some special sponsorship out with uh, 888 and I know they invite me to some more stuff. I'm excited for the future for sure. Ziff is like a dream to me, you know, like since I'm so new to poker and now I talk to like all these legends and like really, really nice people and really interesting people as well. So it was like a really good trip and I'm happy that I did it. guys made it home went to bed slept for six hours till like 4 p.m. and that was like two hours ago now I got up and got some breakfast kind of and <laughs> took a shower um, I will see how I get back on schedule like what the best way is to do so I am really excited crying again like being in London talking to people I found like so much motivation and grinding like not even like streaming itself, but just I really, really want to play more poker and I can't wait to like, you know, come chill tomorrow and have a long stream going. Because I'm like, as I said, really motivated. I would love to grind right now, but I think it's just a, like, I think I should wait and try to get back in schedule. I think I will just like try to sleep at like 3 a.m., but like get up at 9 a.m. and then be tired for one day and then be back next day. But I hope you enjoyed the vlog for London, guys. Maybe it will be two episodes, I will edit it after uh, dinner now. And yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe down below. Press the like button as well. That just helps me out as well. So thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this little trip. It was great for me. Had an amazing time. Really great experience. And I catch you on the felt. Good luck guys.